What's going on, y'all? So I wanted to talk a little bit about this Micah Parsons situation. So Micah Parsons is at, uh, it said that, well, I think confirmed by him as well, is that he will be making a full-time move to defensive end. I don't like it. Let's just be straightforward. I don't like it. I'm going to tell you why. It removes the chess piece off the board. Now, we know that Overshawn pick has definitely then got a whole lot bigger. His role is going to be a whole lot more because now you got Layton, who's been fragile in the, uh, in the past, and you have Overshawn and Damone Park. Them the two ones that you say is going to be really there. Well, that's the trio. Cox is an unknown. Harper is an unknown, right? You signed an undrafted, uh, 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 an undrafted free agency, and you gave him a little bag, so he might be playing a little bit, you know. Maybe a KJ Wright role. Who knows, man? But uh, I don't, I don't necessarily like it though. Now, can Michael Parsons do it? Of course, we he's been pretty much doing it, right? But just the fact that as like as you would hear other teams be like, okay, I don't know if Micah is gonna rush on this side. I don't know if he's gonna rush on this side. I don't know if he's gonna rush on the inside. I don't know if he's gonna rush that linebacker. And by you full time making him, now you're going, you're telling him to beef up, which ain't gonna be that much because he had to frame for it anyway. Like uh, he, that, he's still gonna be a, that ain't gonna be the issue. He's doing that so he can hold the edge because hey, we love Michael Parsons though, but he was not good at holding the edge. We know that. I have plenty of film sessions up <laughs> to see that Michael Parsons was not good at setting the edge. So that's where the weight is going to come in. Not for his pass rush, so be able to go ahead and handle the wear and tear of playing defensive end because it is a wear and tear, and to be able to set the edge. But now you're playing him 100% there. When it, I mean, like I said, he played the majority of it there, though, but it's just different, though. With a team like them, I don't know if Michael going to line up at middle. I don't know if he's going to line up at end. I don't know if he's going to rush over the guard. Now, I'm pretty sure Michael's still going to rush over the guard. And I'm pretty sure he's going to line up probably at both end spots, right? But you telling him that, hey, I'm kind of, you may not be too instinctual at linebacker, and we want you coming more forward. We'd rather you chasing. And because we drafted Mozzie Smith to be able to push that pocket, your 20-sack prediction is, is probably going to look more than likely here. And I understand that, right? So if we still get the dog, it still won't impact his greatness. No, it won't, right? But I just, I just would rather, you know, here and there, let me see him at linebacker or something, right? Now, will they do it? Possibly. But when you announce that, I just think that it's just kind of, I don't know, that, I disagree with this one. Not because of his ability, as, as mentioned before, because he can do it and do it well and, and be the best at it. Let's be real. He'll be the best defensive end, full-time defensive end in the NFL. We're going to be real. So I guess now, now that really makes sense on why they choose not to get Nolan Smith. So that really makes sense now. You know, they go in here and keep it real with us now. They're like, we didn't draft Nolan Smith because our defensive ends of the future is Michael Parsons and Sam Williams. And I like that. I like that duo. I do. I do. So your defensive end, your defensive line is set. So they get rid of get rid of uh Doris Armstrong then. Titus. Mm, let me wash my mouth. <laughs> right? Get rid of Doris. Oh, forget that, man. It's my channel. Get rid of Doris Armstrong, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man, that ain't slacks, man. Come on, man. He's supposed to be the base end. And he out here, man, can't you sit over there and set the edge? But anywho, man, it's just that you take away a chess piece and you just get a full-time player. I mean, he pretty much rushed, what, 85, 80% of the time anyway. So now it's probably going to be, what, 95, close to 100. Now, that's going to be the only difference. And you will, I mean, will the pressure, uh, will, will the defensive line probably be better for it? Probably, yeah. I mean, that's a talent, of course, right? But it just takes away from that. So, so like I said, now your linebacker uh, scene is definitely have a little bit more clarification. And the overshone, even though we knew it made sense then, and we knew that pretty much it was going to come a point in time, 
we 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 kind of had the picture of Overshone and Damone Clark taking over. Now it really makes sense now. Overshone might mess around and have a bigger role this year than we expect. You know what I mean? Previous, he go he might be thrown right into the fire, y'all. They basically saying he can play right now. And he showed that. So I don't know what other people seen in the tape that said he can't ball and he can't ball right now. When clearly the the, the thing that was his was only was his issue was just uh getting the technique to be able to escape blocks, to be able to go ahead and, and shed blocks. And uh the linebacker coach and Dan Quinn get ready to teach him that in mini camp and all training camp. So that ain't gonna be nothing to worry about. Now it's just going to be the Damone Clark process of him processing the information at the NFL speed. But I'm not feeling it, but it ain't a bad move because you got the D tackle in the linebacker. So that's why you're not seeing me go, it's an outrage. Uh, nah, that's why you're not seeing me go crazy because of the moves that they made in the draft. So everything that they did in the draft is starting to make even more sense now. <laughs> it's starting to make even more sense now. So I guess the Nolan Smith it just is what it is now, right? It would have been cool to have Nolan and uh but we ain't gonna we ain't gonna go there. It's over. He a Philly. He the ops now. We don't like him no more. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, man. Nolan Smith is fun. It's fun. <laughs> so you feel me, Mozzie Smith, our guy. You feel me? So we go ahead, man. We getting the we 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 getting the pocket pushed, and and we getting some dogs rushing this in, and we got some young linebackers, man, who ready to go, uh, and who got some physicality to the game. Let the games begin, y'all. But uh, y'all let me know what y'all think about this Michael Parsons moves. Is Micah Parsons move in the comment section? Let me know what you guys think. I'll be looking forward to seeing what you guys think about this situation. You guys like, comment, and subscribe, and share the content. And we up out of here.